Hey guys, it's Sarah. I know the camera's a little bit tilted, but my tripod is kind of broken and I, I'm just going to do the best I can until I can get another one. I did want to give you a little heads up. Um, this is actually going to be a pretty short video. I get very out of breath because I got sick. Now I'm usually either really healthy or I'm in the hospital on six liters of oxygen, which is where I've been the past week. Uh, just my lungs kind of just gave up with, I had bronchitis and then there was literally newsworthy levels of pollen in the Washington DC area. So between the two of them, my lungs were just like, done, we're done. Uh, so I've, I'm still recovering, I'm at home. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, tell you guys sorry, that's what's going to be going on with my breathing and my talking today. The noise you're hearing is Emma running on her wheel. I have something called a One Fast Cat. It's basically a giant hamster wheel for cats. She loves it. So the other big news is uh, I got engaged. Uh, my boyfriend proposed to me on the 9th at a Harry Potter while we were getting ready to go to a Harry Potter thing. We were going to go see The Puffs, which is an off-Broadway play, and they were doing it as part of a Fathom event, and he proposed to me uh, as we were getting there. Uh, so that was really sweet. I'm frugal and I'm a fangirl, so this is going to be a fandom wedding. And it's going to be done on a budget because we're broke. Uh, my parents and his parents were able to help us out a little bit, and that's absolutely fantastic. But a lot of it is going to be, you know, we're going to be having to do the best we can on a low budget. And in the Northern Virginia area, a wedding can be really expensive, so we're going to try to do whatever we can to keep that down. Um, this is going to be a lot of DIY. And there's going to be a lot of planning and negotiating, a lot more DIY, and of course, because we are both such geeks, this is a theme wedding. Yay! Uh, we are both huge Harry Potter fans, and despite the fact that he's Slytherin and I'm Hufflepuff, very proud Puff. If you saw the play Puffs along with me and a lot of other people, I'm a Puff! Hi! So we're going to be throwing a theme Harry Potter wedding, actually, I think... The ceremony is going to be traditional and the reception will be Harry Potter themed. Uh, but I am also going to start talking about what I'm doing to plan for this frugal wedding, especially uh, a fandom based wedding. So first things first I did was uh, I was sick in the hospital and I didn't know what to do in the hospital bed. So Star uh, made up this binder for me, like a planning binder. I know <laughs> I'm already that woman. I swore I'd never become the woman like Bridezilla. Um, and I, I don't think I came close to being Bridezilla, but, you know, I, I, it seems to be all I'm talking about, mainly because I, in a hospital bed, I had nothing else to do except plan the wedding that I had been proposed to, like, two days before. So, um, so we just had this little, all of the stuff we downloaded, I printed out, like, all of these printable, uh, plan sheets and budget details and just basically doing a whole lot of research on the internet. Uh, and I went to the public library. A lot of women spend a lot of money on these bride-to-be books. I mean, there were so many on the library shelves. Um, but I got, like, a whole, I went, you know, libraries are free. I don't know why more people don't go to libraries. Libraries are free. I got the bridal bible here. I've got the everything wedding book. Handmade Weddings, which hopefully will uh, do a lot of work. I've had Emily Post's official wedding planner and the big wedding book and several other books here besides. So this is going to help me planning because I've never planned a wedding before. I think I've been to maybe three in my lifetime. You're going to hear from me not only about coupons, not only about frugal living, uh, but also about my wedding because it's on my mind. I, I can't help it. I did become that girl. It's on my mind now. And I just wanted to give you a catch up. So that is it. You're caught up. I'm almost out of breath, so I have to stop talking now. Um, and uh, I will see you all next time.